Now that you've created your event and chosen the ingestion settings, you're probably wondering how to start your stream so your audience can see it. Let's look at the best way to preview, start, and stop a live event. Remember, when the preview, start, and stop phases are started, they cannot be reverted. Remember to double click the stream before you push it out to the public. Initiate the preview phase to make sure everything is okay before it's available to your audience. It's helpful to make a checklist of things to test and give yourself enough time to make adjustments before going live. When you're done testing, go ahead and start streaming. Don't forget to monitor the live control room metrics and stream health status. If a warning message pops up, read it carefully. If you don't know what the message means, look it up. At the end of your event, check that the live stream has delivered show closing. Remember, the stream transcoding is about 30 seconds behind your actual live show. Click on the big red stop streaming button when ready. Now you can download the metrics and start measuring the success of your event. For more helpful videos on YouTube, visit the Live Help Center.